Hello and welcome back to Box of Shorts. Uh, a reminder to turn your phone off, close any tabs if you have them open, get your periodic table ready, calculator and the booklet from the comments. This is the second video in the quantitative chemistry series. Uh, if you haven't seen the first one, this one might not make any sense to you at all. Um, so I would suggest you look at that one first. Today we are covering one of the most foundational and important concepts in the whole of chemistry, which is called the mole. Now, I'm going to do something with you guys that I don't normally do, which is ask you to sort of bear with me. There's something that I'm not going to fully explain until the next video. Uh, so it might not make 100% sense uh, this time around, but by next video, it definitely will. And there's a really good reason for that, and I'll explain that in the next video. First off, um, there's like an analogy that I want to use here, which is something that's really common. In day-to-day -day life, I'm just going to bring my screen up. We have, uh, often we have words that represent numbers. So for example, the word dozen represents the number 12. Same way that a pair represents two, a score might represent 20, a baker's dozen is 13, but we use words to represent numbers. And the reason why is because it's useful to people. So if you sell eggs, for example, you'll know that eggs come in crates, which are arranged in like shapes, which lend themselves to being in sixes and in twelves. So it makes sense for you to sell eggs as twelves. And if you go to the supermarket, you buy eggs, there'll be little boxes, they sell them in sixes. So it makes sense to talk about half a dozen or a dozen or two dozen. If I had six eggs, that would be half a dozen. If I had 24 eggs, that'd be two dozen. It's just a word that a number represents. It's not threatening, it's not scary at all. In chemistry, chemists have a number as well, and that number is called the mole. Now, do you remember what I said, that for people who sell eggs, the word dozen is a useful word. I'm just gonna write that more clearly for you. In chemistry, the word mole is also a useful word. What number does the mole represent? Well, it doesn't represent one or two or three or four. It represents 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 which is a very, very, very large number. Now, like I said, I'm not going to fully explain to you where that number comes from. I will do that in our next video. For the minute, all we need to be able to do is to use this number. One mole of anything means you've got that many things. So one dozen eggs equals sorry, <laughs> confusing myself, equals 12 eggs. Two dozen eggs equals two times 12 eggs, which equals 24 eggs. I'll lay that out really nicely for you. So here you have... 12 eggs, here you have 2 times 12, 24 eggs. One mole of eggs equals 6.02 times 10 to 23 eggs. Now, obviously, that is a ridiculously large number of eggs. Six point zero 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 zero. Sorry, that's six with a zero 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 eggs, which is a lot of eggs. Which is why we normally use the mole to refer to really small things. Two moles of eggs equals two times 6.02 times 10 to 23 eggs. How many eggs is that? Well, I'm going to get my calculator. For those of you who don't know how to use that 10 to the power, then you just write, so to get 6.02 times 10 to 23, you just use this button here, this one, times 10 to 23. That's what it is, see? 6.02 times 10 to 23. So if I times that by two, I get 
1.204 times 10 to the 24 x. It's exactly the same as x, a dozens. Uh, it's the same as a dozen. It's just a bigger number, right? So students often get scared. They're like, oh my God, that number is terrifying. Oh, what's a mole? I don't get it. It's really not complicated. And the same way that a dozen means 12, a mole means that. It's just a different number that looks a little bit scary. Like I said, normally we use that number not to refer to eggs because there are not that many eggs on the planet and I doubt that many eggs have even been laid in the history of chickens. So instead we normally refer, we normally use it to refer to really small things. So for example, one mole of electrons. How many electrons is that? 6.02 times 10 to 23 electrons. Same for neutrons, same for protons, same for atoms, whatever. So if I had say three moles of atoms, that would be three times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms, which equals 3 times 6.02 to 10 to the 23, that would give me 1.806 times 10 to the 24 atoms. It really is that simple. Why don't you try one yourself? Let's say I told you instead of 1 or 3, I did 0 0.8 moles of protons. Pause the video and work out for yourself how many protons there are in 0 0.8 moles of protons. So you should only now be watching the video if you have done this. 0 0.8 times 6.02 times 10 to 23. So I'll do that in my calculator. 0 0.8 times 6.02 times 10 to 23 gives me 4.816 times 10 to 23. Straightforward. Let's do one more example together. Let's say I had 17.6 moles of molecules. Pause your video and work out how many molecules that is. So you should only now be watching the video if you have done the questions. And a reminder that if you don't do the questions that I set for you, you're wasting your time. That would be 17.6 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And that gives me 1.0, oh, and I'll round that, 6 times 10. To 25. If you got that correct, well done. If you didn't, I hope the working has made that a bit more clear to you. All you do is you just take the number times by the moles times the mole number, this one, and then you're done. Okay, I think I've got some questions for you to try now. Have a go at these questions for me. That number at the end, number six, a score. A score just means 20. Have a go at those. Pause your screen, do the questions, and then press play. So you should only now be hearing my voice if you have done these questions. Here are the answers. Mark your work if you got it correct. Well done, let's move on. If you didn't, just really quickly do the calculations for you. So the first one is just one times that number. Second one is two times that number. The third one is seven times that number. Fourth one is half, so 0 0.5 times that number. Fifth one is 12 times that number. And the sixth one is 20 times that number. So it's 20 times 6.02 times 10 to 23. Now before we move on, I just want to tell you a bit of uh, important knowledge, which is that that number is called the Avogadro constant called the Avogadro constant. And it's named after an Italian chemist who has an amazingly long name that I used to be able to pronounce, but I can't anymore. I've forgotten it. Avogadro. 
it's called Avogadro's number or so sometimes you'll see it called Avogadro's number other times you'll see it called the Avogadro constant not avocado a lot of people make that mistake it's got nothing to do with avocados it's an Italian chemist not the green fruit and that's the name that we give to that number I've been calling it the mole number to make life easier but that is its proper name I just want to do um, a kind of different type of activity to push your understanding here a bit further let's say I said to you how many electrons in two moles of BE atoms. So that's a bit more complicated because I've added a number of electrons and a number of atoms. So in the past, I just had electrons and now I've got electrons and atoms. So the first thing I do is I go to my periodic table and I look for BE, which is over here, and I can see the BE has four electrons. And we draw it, as you know by now, like that, four electrons. Now what that means is that two moles of atoms are two times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms right which equals see use a calculator 1.204 times 10 to the 24 atoms that's how many atoms i have here so i've got two moles of atoms so that's how many atoms i've got if each of those atoms has four electrons one two three four then i need to times that number by four 1.204 times 10 to the 24 times by four that's how many electrons i'll have and i do that on my calculator and that gives me 4.816 times 10 to the 24 electrons and that's the answer to my question let's have you guys try one so if i said to you how many electrons are in let's not go with two moles of be atoms but let's go with seven moles of nitrogen atoms pause the video work that one out and then press play okay so you should only now be listening to my voice if you've done this question if you've not done the question like i said before you're wasting your time nitrogen looks like this it's got seven electrons So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven moles. How many atoms would that be? That would be seven times 6.02 times 10 to 23 atoms. Which gives me 4.214 times 10 to the 24 atoms I need to times that number by seven by one two three four five six seven electrons and that gives me 2.9 I'll round five times ten to 25 electrons and that's that question done. So here are some more questions for you to get on with. How many electrons are in each of those? If you're not sure of the formula for carbon dioxide or methane, you should look it up. You can use the internet for that. I'll allow you to open another tab. I'm feeling generous. And then work out how many electrons are in each of those. You should now only be listening to my voice if you have done the questions. If you've not yet done the questions, make sure to pause and then do them. If you have done the questions, you can be listening. And the answers are here. 
and just to do those last two for you. So we had one mole of carbon dioxide molecules. So carbon dioxide molecule, each car has one carbon, two oxygens. Carbon has six electrons, oxygen has eight electrons. So the total, that would be what, 22 electrons. So two lots of eight is 16, plus six gives me 22. I've got, hot, I've got uh, one mole, so that'd be 22 times 6.02 times 10 to 23, and that would give you 1.3244 times 10 to 25. That's the calculation you would do. Oh, sorry, just make it that really clear for you. Uh, and then the next one, which was half a mole of methane molecules. So methane is CH4, one carbon, four hydrogens. So the carbon's got six, each hydrogen has one. So that would be 10. It's half a mole, so... 0.5 times 6.022 times 10 to 23 and then times by the 10 electrons that you find in methane and that will give you your answer 3.01 times 10 to 24. That's the end of this video. In the next video we will tie together videos one and two and I'll try and explain to you where that number comes from. In the meantime thank you for listening and do remember to subscribe.